Hello students. Today we will discuss mechanisms of freezing stress tolerance in plants. Low temperature constrains plant growth and restricts productivity in temperate regions. So under low temperature stress plants need to maintain cell behavior and activity. And in particular the stability of the cell membranes and structure of the proteins with biological activity for survival in adverse environmental conditions. The exposure of plants to sub-zero temperature leads to ice formation in plant tissues. As we have already discussed in our previous lecture, higher concentration of active ice nucleators in the apoplastic solution of plants leads to a higher freezing point. As a result, ice crystals first form in the extracellular space of plant cells. Ice formation outside cells reduces the water potential of the apoplastic solution, which leads to water flowing from the cell. Therefore, freezing stress at cellular level is often followed by dehydration stress. Ice crystal will lead to an increase in electrolyte leakage and uh, membrane lipid phase changes then. Right? As the freezing continues, Osmotic forces produce cellular dehydration, which facilitates the formation of intracellular ice crystals. At the extreme, ice crystals can puncture cell, plant cells and lead to cytosol outflow and ultimately causes the plants to die. Right? Therefore, preventing uh, uh, formation of intracellular ice crystals and avoiding growth of ice crystals are important for plants to tolerate cold stress. Plants use two different adaptation strategies to withstand or uh, survive cold uh, temperatures, freezing avoidance and freezing tolerance. Supercooling process is a prevalent mechanism of freeze avoidance in which water remains in the liquid state at sub-zero temperature, preventing intracellular freezing and limiting cell dehydration. Freezing tolerance instead affect physiological, biochemical and epigenetic changes that allow to the plant respond to cold stress. The most popular approach used by plants to deal with this low temperature stress is cold acclimation, which allows plants to survive freezing via accumulation of cryoprotective polypeptides, for example, CUR15A, and osmolites like soluble sugars and proline, etc. Now we'll start with the mechanisms of freezing stress tolerance. Cold stress limits geographical distribution and influences plant growth development and also yield. So plants have evolved complex biochemical and physiological, uh, physiological mechanisms to adapt to cold stress. So these mechanisms are regulated by a series of transcription factors and proteins for efficient cold acclimation, right? So first is ICE CBF COR pathway. ICE inducer of CBF expression. CBF C repeat binding uh, factor and COR cold responsive genes. Right? ICE is a CBF regulator and CBFs control the expression of COR gene when cold stress takes place. COR gene is a critical gene that is responsible for chilling tolerance and cold acclimation processes in plants. Now listen, under normal conditions, CBFs are regulated by circadian clock and the photoperiod. Under cold stress conditions, however, CBFs induce several cold stress related genes to regulate the cold tolerance of plants. So expression of CBFs, just look at this diagram. Here are the C repeat binding factors. Expression of CBFs is mainly mediated by 
T E L L A S signaling and induced by I C E one, right? I C E E uh, means I C E is a pioneer of cold acclimation, right? Now, what is I C E? An M Y C type basic helix loop helix family transcription factor, right? Then TELLAs contribute to cold induction of CBF genes through interaction with JAZs signaling. CBFs then activate the expression of COR genes via binding to cis elements in the promoter of uh, in the promoter region of COR genes and results in the enhancement of cold tolerance in plants. Right? Next is physiological mechanism involved in cold stress tolerance. Cold tolerance in plants is a complex process. As complex process, Mechanism of cold stress in plant is not only controlled by ICE, CBF, COR gene, but also other factors such as hormones, circadian clocks, and lights are involved. Right? So, a short day in early autumn represents the first enunciation of cold stress. Right? So, this is first. Enunciation of cold stress. Just look at this diagram. Here, AFPs and PIP227 means when cold stress is there, ice crystal uh, formation starts. Plant is having a AFPs and PIP227. Slow that slow ice crystal formation, and to maintain cell membrane and reduced cell membrane injury right however low temperature still causes some changes in membrane structure uh, and also sugar concentration right and in production of cryoproteins means these are the changes that low temperature causes. I'll repeat. What are these changes? Changes in membrane structure, sorry, changes in membrane structure, sugar concentration and production of cryoproteins, right? Low temperature also initiates the increase in abscisic acid, ABA and ethylene and also reactive oxygen species accumulation in addition decrease in the number of chloroplasts right low temperature then induces the expression of some genes just look at this diagram these are all genes like nia genes mapk TPS 11, SMT12, or uh, ICE1, and also antioxidant enzyme coding genes. Right? So, antioxidant enzyme coding genes reduce the ethylene and increase the activity of antioxidant enzymes in cold stress plants. Right? Meanwhile, NIA. A genes and NR. It initiate NO as a result of low temperature nitric oxide. Right here, ICE1, CAMTS, NIA, right, and hormones induce the expression of CBF, CBF1, 2, 3, right which bind to CRT or DRE cis element, right? 
DRE, dehydration responsive element binding uh, proteins, right? To uh, this cis element to enhance cold tolerance. Then C ICE1 to CBFs, it induce expression of cold responsive genes. These are cold responsive genes, KIN1, then um, this uh, RD29A, COR47A, right? So, so uh, then means expression of these cold responsive genes, then induced, right? And ultimately lead to cold tolerance, right? So, this is all about the mechanism of Increasing stress tolerance in plants. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.